Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going, guys? It's going. <laughs> I, okay, I am night. going to um, see if I can pull up the agenda. Okay. Um, okay. So, any, um, uh, so I've been thinking about um, our meeting with Jean, and as far as where we might want to take our focus for the challenge, um, I was thinking, um, you know, there's a lot of little things that um, can be addressed, um, but I think it would be really great and helpful if we had a structure of um, some sort of plan. Um, I spoke with um, Derek Jackson from Collinsville yesterday. Um, Todd, I'm curious to know if we would be, um, if it would be okay to invite him to our meeting on Monday to kind of give a presentation on how they got to the point of building their plan um, and how they saw it through. Is that possible? Yeah. Okay, awesome. I just, I'll send you- I'll need ahead. email information so I can yeah. send a link for the Zoom. Yeah, I will send you his information um, after we're done. Um, sorry, I have to write that down. Um, so I think that would be helpful for our commission. Um, over the next few months to have this structure to go by. Um, Michael, did you have any um, thoughts or um, takeaways from our meeting with Jean? Um, and I don't even know if you guys have had a chance to look at that menu of options. Yeah, I pulled it up this morning and was going through it. I mean, it, it looks like we could knock a good chunk of these off pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, it, I think we need to find out a little bit more on that um, if we have a budget and what or what our budget is. For, if it's that five thousand dollars, then we we can spend that. I think that will check even more of these off as well. Yeah, Todd, did we um, had, did you guys have that budget meeting yet, or the for the next year? We had it last night. How how was that? <laughs> it went till ten twenty last night. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, my stars. Almost four and a half hours. Oh, my gosh. That's excruciating. I hope you can flex that time somewhere else. <laughs> no, no. Not when you're salaried, you don't get to. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Um, so out of that monster of a meeting, do can you give us any color on if we have a budget and what that might look like? Um, we didn't talk about um, commissions. Okay. So... Um, I tried looking through the budget document and I couldn't find specific to sustainability commission. So I'll, uh, I'll talk with Dr. Peoples when I meet with her tomorrow and ask her okay. to find out for sure if, if we do have a, which, I mean, they usually give the commissions some sort of a budget. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Meanwhile, um, Jean has sent me the contact information from SIUE, and I have also reached out to Carla Armbruster, um, who's at Webster, and she's part of their sustainability um, faculty. Um, and she said she is underwater grading papers this week. Um, and then I, so I said, okay, I'm going to circle back next week. And she's um, uh, eager to talk about what we might be able to pull together as well. Um, um, as far as greenhouse gas um, emissions and energy usage, I met with Eric um, leaders who, um, Michael, he uh, was on the commission for quite a few years um, and just recently stepped down. Um, and he is the director of sustainability for the Parkway School District. Um, and he, in I think it was 2016, 2015 or 20, yeah, 2016, he 
put um, input all the data from 2007 for three buildings into Portfolio Manager. Um, now it hasn't been, and he presented that to at the time who our city manager was, um, Steve Wiley. Um, it what buildings did he do? Um, he did city hall slash firehouse slash police department building. What do you got? What, is it, what do you call that complex? Just the city, city hall, hall complex. Okay. Um, rec center and firehouse number two. Okay. Well, firehouse yeah. two is getting tore down. So I, I know. <laughs> we get to just start fresh, hopefully with a lot of, uh, energy efficiencies um, put into the plan. But um, so he has all that data. It hasn't been updated since 2016. Um, so that's quite some time. Uh, so I think I, you know, that could be an area where we try to utilize, you know, potentially an, an intern if we have some small budget um, to input that sort of data and help us collect um, that information so that we have a benchmark and we can start to find areas where we can make improvements. Um, so I think, um, oh, also Todd, were, did you get anywhere with that Ameren contact for? I, I have not reached out to him yet. I'll, I'm gonna try to do that next week, so. Okay. This week has just been hectic, so. <laughs> I, I'm sure. <laughs> Okay, that sounds good. Um, then I, I think what, um, Michael, what I would like to do, um, you and I, um, as we move forward, um, is to look at that, that punch list that Gene sent over and kind of go, I, I'm going to create like five categories, um, four or five based on what Collinsville's plan looks like um, and kind of throw into each of those categories. I w I'm, and I'm wondering if you could like take two of them and I'll take two or three of them and kind of like, where do we think some of those items might fit? So we have a checklist instead of it just kind of being willy nilly. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, so you're saying take the, take the plans that they have and whatever they created as their sustainability plan, see what fits with the Green Cities Challenge so we can kind of double dip the two. Yeah, the yeah, one. like I am not interested in reinventing, oh, there's a hummingbird right outside my window. <laughs> Sorry, shiny things. Um, I, I'm not interested in reinventing the wheel here. Like, so the sustainability plan, I, you guys have heard me say this already, so sorry if this is repetitive, but like they took it from Granite City. Granite City was like, yeah, here you go. So I would like to look at that plan they have like five areas of focus mm -hmm. for their plan. Um, and I'm curious, so I'm gonna look at that again and see and, and come up with like five headings, four or five headings for us to focus on. Look at Gene's list, throw a few of those things in the, under the appropriate heading. And then from there, we can like say, okay, this group is gonna work on this over the next couple of months. This group's gonna work on this. Um, under those headings. So we have some structure. Yeah. Um, and then from there, I think, you know, we'll be able to have a discussion as a, as a commission starting Monday on what we think a plan might look like for us. And if that's a, if, you know, if that's the road we want to travel, I, again, I think it would just be really helpful for the city going forward, you know, to, consult the plan when decisions are being made and um, hold them as values. Todd, the plan, do we need an ordinance written to make a plan and, and, and council to approve that? Um, well, you make recommendations to the council and if they wanna move forward with it, um, yeah, it would either be a resolution or, or an ordinance. Ordinance has more bite to it than a resolution. So. Okay, okay. Should I also like, maybe I'll touch base with Laura too, to see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's, hold on. I'm going to pop over to my screen where, um, so I don't miss anything. Um, yeah.
Okay, sorry guys. Um, it's fine. While you're doing that, real quick, Todd, on on this green menu thing or whatever the Green Cities Challenge menu, um, do, does Webster have any policies in place right now? Like, I'm sure you guys are recycling or you know doing something, yeah. but there's no maybe there's not a an official like a 10% waste reduction plan. I, I might cruise through this and send this to, to both of you on things that I think if we're not doing this, we probably, we're probably doing some thing, some, some form aspect of it. Yeah. Of it. yeah. Right. That uh, is minimal cost, if anything, that maybe we want to do, if you can provide some insight on, yeah, you're, you know, we're, we're doing this or respond back with it. Um, yeah, we, have, we have recycling bins in every office here mm -hmm. at city hall and uh, okay. The parks department um, put out recycling bins in their parks that they don't get used properly. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I spoke with Yvonne about that, um, she said that she thinks that, uh, you know, maybe just like a, a reboot on that program. Um, and so I had, she had expressed interest in, in engaging her staff or their staff in, um, maybe touring the um, MRF, uh, Republic MRF, uh, Materials Recovery Facility. Um, and so I reached out to Brent um, and that was like in March. He, um, Brett, Brent Batlinger, I think is it? Yeah. Um, and he said, you know, hold tight. We're getting close to having tours come back online. So I'm gonna, I'm reaching out to him like next week or the week after to say, hey, can we, start to get that scheduled. I, I don't know if any of the, I'll put it out to the commission as, as well to see if anybody's interested in, in seeing that facility again. So we can start. It's pretty cool to see how they do that. The machines that they use, it's amazing. It is really awesome. <laughs> I haven't seen the one here. I've only seen one in Chicago and it was like, so I was such a geek about it. Uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the, the, does that sound okay as far as a strategy to move forward for the Green Cities Challenge? I think so. Good, cool. Um, and then Todd, I on one of my questions on my notes for you was uh, new members, um, and you emailed me yesterday that we have a new commission member. Yeah, they pointed one at the last um, council meeting. So okay, he'll be, great. He'll be on the meeting Monday, or he should be. I'll send him the, the link in that. So. Fantastic. Paul. Paul bars or something like that. I remember okay. that. Cool. Um, and then um, also I'm going to, I'm going to touch base personally with Chris, Christine. Um, I know her from, from church. So I'm going to see if she wants to rejoin the commission. If, if once her work settles down a little bit, I'm sorry, the, this subcommittee um, so that we have uh, a little more um, person power in, in moving through these these things. Um, Todd, any red flags that I, from what I've said or any um, concerns from the city's point of view? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, all right, awesome. Michael, any any thoughts? Uh, not on this, on the Sustainability Commission meeting for Monday. I don't know if I can go off topic. That's a well, how to, I don't wanna break rules. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I did talk to um, Arcturus for the, the big development going down uh, in Old Webster. They are kind of phasing out of the process and passing it over to Green Street. I happened to talk to uh, one of the, the folks on Green Street the other day and they would be interested in coming and presenting or at least presenting our, one of our sustainability commission meetings up, coming up, you know, 15 minutes or so just to kind of walk yeah. us through what their plan is, but it's still really early. I mean, they yeah. have uh, properties to get, but they have ideas and they have some thoughts that they thought at least they could share them with us. So when people are asking, well, what sustainability goals is this project trying to do? We would at least have that knowledge. So if that's something interested, uh, we're interested in, I could see if she's available for either this Monday or one of the next ones. Yeah, Michael, I think that's, thanks for, for doing or having those conversations. I think that's great. And on my um, agenda that I'm gonna send Todd in a little bit for Monday is the, um, the we're gonna, grab to get pulled together a subcommittee for the for that effort um, so that we have a group of dedicated commission members who are paying attention to that. And yes, I would love to have um, them participate. We, we talked with them over last summer as they were doing their like town halls and stuff just to like um, get some concerns um, 
addressed, I think it's time again to do that. So probably not this May meeting, but perhaps mm -hmm. our June meeting. Mm -hmm. If 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 you want to, um, you know, set that up, that would be amazing. But I'll we'll be in touch yeah. about that. Yeah. We can communicate about that. Perfect. Yeah. All right. We good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks, guys, so much for for taking a few minutes to work through this with me. I just don't want to. Um, I just appreciate your uh, your attention to this. Room. Cool. All right. Have an awesome day. Yeah. I get some rest. Get yourself another cup of coffee. I felt like I didn't even go home last night. <laughs> I was back here at 7:30 this morning. Oh my gosh. Maybe you just need a cot on nights I like that. I should have brought a pillow and a, and a blanket. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you get to sneak out early today. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I got an MSD meeting tonight from six to oh. seven. <laughs> yeah i'm gonna send you over a coffee <laughs> all right guys thanks so much all right see you, Talk to you soon. Yeah, bye. Monday. yep yep bye bye